Our Megan Coleman's live in Boston. Been a long day, started bright and early this morning, and there she is tonight with her live report. Megan? Well, Matt, good evening from Boston tonight, where it has just been a gorgeous day here across the city, and it continues to be a beautiful evening here tonight. The runners have now finished their race. They are behind me. They're coming off the course. It has been a tremendous day for them, and you know, it's hard to believe that just one year ago, this was the site of such carnage and sheer devastation. Uh, it has been a tough road for these runners to get to today. As you would imagine, the police presence here has been tremendous, but today was all about redemption and taking back the race that was stolen from these runners one year ago. We were with local runners today and we got a chance to catch up with an East Syracuse woman we first introduced you to last Friday as she was preparing for the Boston Marathon. Today we had the unique chance to go along with her and her supporters on the marathon route along her journey. dawn, they boarded buses one by one, bound for the race of their lives. For many, the Boston Marathon is the pinnacle. They've worked hard to get here. The charity runners boarded first, then the waves of runners taking on the race. From the air and on the ground, police were out in force, keeping a sharp eye to keep the runners safe. Among the crowd, Jennifer Wood of East Syracuse, preparing to take on Boston for the first time. It's something I've dreamed about for a long time, so it's like I feel like I finally got, got to the accomplishment, you know, and I'm ready to go. I'm just excited. She missed qualifying for last year's race by just 35 seconds. When the bombs exploded at the finish line last year, Jen watched from home in horror. And while it may have shaken her, she was determined to run Boston this year. This is something that I want to do for the runners and for the victims of last year. And just to show, show everybody that you can't stop us and we're going, to com we're going to compete and we're going to keep living our lives. Yay, mommy! Back at home, her two little cheerleaders are watching from afar. By her side, her husband Aaron, who wouldn't miss this for the world. And the pride that I have to for my wife being able to compete in this, such a, a memorable event. I mean, the, the Super Bowl of Marathon. Following Jen on her journey, her husband and crew of high school friends who traveled along the route to cheer her on. For Jen, it's been years of preparing for this very day, crossing the finish line, taking back this race, and taking home a piece of Boston. How are you feeling? I feel okay. I feel pretty good. I'm glad it's over. I've been out there training through the Syracuse brutal winter, and uh, it make, today makes it all worth it. Jennifer finished the race in three hours and 14 minutes, a tremendous feat. She now plans to run Chicago in the fall. For tonight, Jen plans to take some time uh, to ease back into things here in Boston, get a little rest and relaxation. On the top of her list, she plans to indulge in a little chocolate, some chicken wings, and a nice cold blue moon. Now, coming up new at 6 tonight, we meet up with the elite men from Fleet Feet, and you won't believe their finishing times. That's the latest live here in Boston tonight. Well, thank you, Megan. Her menu sounds delicious for tonight. More from Megan a little bit later on. Our team coverage of the race continues now. Jay Gray.